Yo, what's up guys? In this video today, we're gonna have a 75 booster pack opening of the latest Brilliant Stars. Such an amazing set. Trying to get more Rainbow Charizard, so I've done a 75 pack opening. We've done two 100 packs and a 150 pack opening now. So, trying to think of another, uh, like another title. So I rounded it to 75, good number to open. So it works out about two booster boxes and a bit. Hopefully you get some good pulls, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe, and yeah, let's see what we're gonna get out of all these packs here. So, let's get into it. So boom, let's get into it. So what kind of cards we're hoping for is obviously the Rainbow Charizard, the Alt Art Charizard. Those are two cards I'd love to double up loads on. Uh, so we'll go like that and we'll go this way. Also, we're starting off with a Lucario Hollow. Uh, so those are kind of the cards I'm trying to hope for to pull today. Uh, the Rainbow Charizard, I've literally only got one which we pulled on the channel as you guys seen. Um, and yeah, the Alt Art Charizard pulled a few of them now. And yeah, so we've got like two booster boxes and a bit in here. So let's see what we can kind of get. Uh, always fun to open Brilliant Stars, especially for myself, because I've been opening thousand, like at least a thousand packs for, well, definitely over a thousand packs of Brilliant Stars on my TikTok. So obviously we do TikTok box breaks over there. So follow me on TikTok if you guys haven't. But yeah, we pulled like three Rainbow Zards there. And I've pulled, I've maybe opened around a thousand packs now, especially with the multiple hundred pack openings we've done. And I've got so many more videos on the hard drive, but no trainer gallery so just yet. So yeah. So hopefully we can start pulling multiple of those big chase cards now. I've pulled many rainbow cards as well, doubled up, but just not the Zard. So yeah, hopefully we're going for the rainbow Zard. Let me know in the comments, guys, what cards you've been going for. All double whammy, got a lot of the double whammies. Uh, so sleeve them up. Boom. And boom. So yeah, I love uh, the double whammies. That's why it's such a good set and I'm glad. And I hope, I believe so, the future sets will all have trainer galleries in them. Well, this year, anyways, I'm hopefully next year they still like the new season or the new kind of like era. I don't know what do they call it because obviously this is Sword and Shield. You had Sun and Moon before. Next year will be Scarlet and Violet packs. That's gonna be so crazy because it's the first time properly collecting. I've always bought packs during, oh, I always bought packs during like the Black and White era. Well, mainly X, Y, and Sun and Moon. I've been buying packs. I might have bought the odd pack in Black and White era, but. Obviously I bought had packs when I was a kid or had cards as a kid, but when I grown up and bought my own packs and whatnot, uh, I mainly got back into it like XY Sun and Moon, but I never followed it. I just bought like two, three packs for fun. Uh, if I see them in the shop, so if I see a tin in the shop, I might buy it, just open it for fun. Same with Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff, because those are Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon as well I was big into. I always bought a couple packs, etc. whenever I seen them, but I never understood the sets. Uh, until like I got into properly collecting in like 2019 that's when I properly started collecting but I've always 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 been buying Pokemon cards and stuff like that throughout the years um, but yeah like so the, the next set is gonna be the first one since like Sword and Shield like Sword and Shield was like the first one I just got into it in like Halfway Sun and Moon and we like we followed Sword and Shield every set we've been doing but another double whammy we've been following like all the releases for Sword and Shield as you can tell from the channel I started my channel just before Sword and Shield base and then literally every set, every release for three years now. It's actually crazy. Three years? Yeah, it's been three years we've had this channel. Let's see what we can get though. So I did split these into 15. So every 15 is, uh, every row is 15 packs. Oh, just a bunch of hollows though. But we did get some V's, Maxes, but nothing greater than that yet. So boom, boom. Let me move these this way so we can kind of like fill up because we're going to get a lot of hits. 75 packs. It's gonna be a lot of stuff, especially with this set with the trainer galleries, as you can see already. Oh, Shaman V Star Rainbow. Oh, okay. So not the Charizard, however, we'll take it. Imagine that was a Charizard right there. That'd be insane. But Rainbow Shaman, at least we got a secret rare, nonetheless. But come on. Alright, nothing there. Yeah, okay, so that's first 15 packs. I think we did pretty well. Let me know what you think for every 15 packs. How good are we doing? But you can guys can work out on average. If I bought 10, 15 packs at the store, this is like kind of the average because we're doing like five lots of 15. So there's like two lots of booster box. One booster box I bought from the store was not in like not fully full. And then uh, I got some triple blisters as well. I've got the Empoleon on there uh, to make the 75 packs. Um, so yeah, hopefully there's gonna be tons of good stuff in here. Hopefully multiple secrets as well or oh, just a shame in v to go out a rainbow right we got uh but nonetheless and then yeah all arts as well we're gonna get some all arts looking forward to see some all arts if possible um but oh so many hollows i feel like we get so many hollows with this i guess it is the easiest rare to pull after the non-hollow so obviously it's gonna be a lot of them 
Uh, but yeah, you just want to get full arts and seeker as right guys. Bruh, <laughs> more hollows, come on. How many hollows are in total on this set? Uh, I think 10. So I've listed them on eBay. Obviously the hollows don't sell for too much, but I just list them because I got I got no use for them obviously. Um, so I just list them on eBay and people do my multiples of them, which do work out alright for me. Um, so yeah, it's because obviously a lot of people set complete. Oh, it was a full art board though. Obviously with the full arts you have love so many lovely old arts in this set. So you could have got one of those, but just a Gramble full art. Uh, probably not one of the best ones, but nonetheless at least decent. This keeps going. Lucario Hollow. So yeah, we've got Rainbow Rare. We've got um, full art now out of, what, less than 30 packs. That's kind of like a booster box worth of pulls right now. Get that shaming in the shot a bit better. Um, oh, let's go. Oh, what was that? Oh, Arceus V-Star. These seem to be going for a little bit. Like, these are like sub 30 quid. Like, just under 30 pounds for just a regular V-Star. And the rainbows are like not even that much and more than that. You know what I mean? So, that's pretty cool that you can get, they get a little bit of money for that. So, if you buy like, say, three packs or four packs and you pull that, you sell that and then buy more packs. Which is always great, especially if you're young and you can't really afford to buy loads of packs at once. If you get one of those, you already got one sell it then buy some more packs you know because it goes for a little bit of peace so i guess it's a bit playable and stuff but yeah there's not too many valuable cards unless it's a full art secret rare, but it's good to have like a v-star but the v-stars are pretty hard to pull though but inferno polo who feels like the v-stars are pretty hard to pull because i don't feel like i've pulled that many v-star zards uh and per booster box it's like one or two if you're lucky sometimes some booster boxes don't have any v-stars so yeah let me know what you guys think on the v-stars are they cool? I pretty like. I like them a lot. I was hoping they replaced the V Max, and we don't get any more V Maxes. So I feel heck. I'm really bored of the V Maxes. I use. I love them a lot. I'm just kind of bored of it. But I see full art, and it's a V. Oh, shame in full art. Obviously, we could have been the Arceus or Charizard. Or what. I still haven't pulled. So I pulled most of the chase cards I want now. So obviously, so that's not a 15. But yeah, I pulled most of the chase cards I want. So. The old arts are the rainbow zard, the old art Arceus, rainbow Arceus, golden Arceus. I pulled all of them now. Um, but I still haven't got the regular uh, full art Charizard, the one with the blue background. Um, so hopefully we can get some of those. But yeah, I think in that last row, did you get, even get any trainer galleries there? So it shows you the trainer gallery for it. It's not as easy as we think. We got that lovely Mewtwo, because obviously we got the Mewtwo promo. If you guys haven't seen, let me show you. Old Orange Guru, talking about trainer gallery. So yeah, the regular Mewtwo there, and I was hoping they made that hollow, but obviously it wasn't a hollow. But luckily, the Pokemon Company. That's the wrong promo. Luckily, the Pokemon Company made these Mewtwo promos, which are available on WH Smith in the UK. I think some European stores as well have them. Uh, but awesome promo reverse, but you got that lovely stamp, kind of like a pre release promo. They've done these uh, stamp promos for ages now, I think since like. I remember the team up Moltres and stuff, so I, I think there are a few more before that as well. Uh, so they've always done uh, the stamp promos for many years now, so it's good they've returned because there was none since Vivid Voltage Snorlax one. Uh, so there's been a long time, like a year without uh, promo at WH Smith. So glad we get a promo at WH Smith. They always do the cool characters. I know the, the Snorlax one was pretty decent. Like you spend £10, you got a promo worth 7 quid, you could sell that as well make half of your money back on the packs etc so those were great as well i didn't go too crazy on those i think i only got a handful and then they end up in argos so hopefully argos end up getting the mewtwo's but i think argos stopped doing promos right but raikou v they don't do the really promos in their new bundles anymore let me know if you think uh if that's the same for your local argos if you check their new uh triple pack um selection but come on guys only two full arts one secret we're hoping for like two full arts from this lot or dust nor hollow so yeah, two full arts would be good because it's just over two booster boxes and if we're getting one secret per booster box it's pretty decent so yeah let's go come on not even seeing the like what you call it not even seeing like that many trainer galleries but in a booster box there's like three to four so it's like one in every 10-ish packs you're getting a uh, trainer gallery so if we can get like seven trainer galleries then we're pretty decent on the pull rates uh, but yeah, just I want to make sure it's like a quick and fun opening for today. Uh, we've got the 100 pack opening going today. So this one I'll probably put next weekend unless I do all Ariados. So that's why you got to love this set. Got those hits and those the white codes as well. 
Uh, let me put that over there so it fills out the background now and then we can fill it going that way. Just have a back wall full of hits. Yeah, let's go. Oh, I always see the white bit and I think it's like a hit by then. <laughs> it's just that. But that's pretty cool, something different than energy. But yeah, let's keep going. See what we can get, guys. Come on. Best of luck. Let's go, King Lovey. Well, I think the bulk pile is about to fall, so let me put that away. So yeah, let's go. So what is this? We just start in the next row, which is like another 15. So we've gone through 45 booster packs. Only one secret so far, guys. So wish us the best of luck. Let's see. Oh, come on. Has anyone got any crazy errors with these as well? Like, I haven't seen too many error packs. Maybe centering pretty much, but no crazy errors yet. So... And also the broken batch. Anyone experience any broken batches, any broken pull rates from a certain product like we have uh, with Evolving Skies. If you've seen our videos before, I know a lot of you have. But let's go Sylveon V here. I think I need the Umbreon V from Trainer Gallery. That might be another one because I think I have one. I mean, I'm sure I pulled it. I, I, like, I feel like I put it aside, but I may have doubled up on it and then put one on eBay. And then I put, might put my personal one on eBay as well. So obviously some cards I don't double up on, so I just put the doubles on eBay. And so I think I've sold my own one as well that I was going to put in my collection. Uh, I need to check again my collection if I put it in the binder or if it's in the grading pile, just to double check. Uh, but yeah, the Umbreon is a nice one. I don't like the Sylveon VMAX, but I love the Umbreon VMAX as well. Uh, but, ooh, Raichu V. Let's go. Come on, hopefully another Seeker Rare. Ooh, Shaman V. So yeah, I always open these like, yeah, we're going to get a rainbow, because like, Rainbow Zard or something, because there's a lot of packs, of course, but then there's obviously a lot of other full arts you can pull. Like, we can pull two full arts today, but not the ones we want. Pull the rainbow today, not the one we want. So, I always go into these thinking, yeah, we're going to go get something good. A lot of times, you don't end up getting what you want. So, I just open these for fun, and hopefully, we get what we want. But, Oren Guru, again, let's go. Come on guys, let's go. So I almost finished this right now, it'd be 60 booster packs. That could have been its own video, but I thought we'll round it up to 75. I'll probably get a load more coming soon. Uh, and then we'll just hold out to the next release, kind of. I might just buy the full art Zard. Uh, but obviously, the most of my fun comes from like opening the packs. Obviously, it's cheaper to buy the singles. But obviously, it's fun to open packs, etc, etc. Uh, but boom, let's go. I just enjoy doing this, making content as well. If I haven't, if I don't open anything, then there'll be no content. Even though we have a backlog of hundreds and hundreds of videos, we're starting the last row now. So the last row of se Ooh, oh, another rainbow rare. So the last row of uh, 15. So I'll make it 75 in total. So rainbow Roseanne's back up. Not the rainbow we quite want, but we'll take it either way. We'll kind of just see what we got here. Come on. Oh. Yeah, not the best rainbow. I think they're not going for too much, but boom, got Arceus V. Arceus V. I think this one goes for a little bit more than the other Vs as well, just because it's playability probably that you need for the V star Arceus. Um, so yeah, it might be expensive to get play sets of those and the Arceus, I can imagine. But our creamy V. Let's go. So we've seen more trainer galleries. The first row we didn't have any trainer galleries. Uh, but boom. Oh, Whimsicott V. Come on, the rainbow now. <laughs> That's how disappointed I am. Oh, I think we got a full art here. It's going to be a trainer full art. Cafe Master from the trainer gallery slot. So not too bad. That wasn't going to be a white code, but because we got, because um, obviously the trainer gallery, we have the chance of full arts, which is great. So we got that one. Not from there. Come on. Oh, boss's order. Let's put that there for now because the camera is about to die. So I won't see what the hollows. I'll see the hollows after. I mean, but oh, Inferno Polo. Come on, clink clang, and we're down to the last four packs now, guys. What do you reckon? You think we can come through with the hits? Oh, black and gold single strike. Us through at least we're coming back with the hits. I guess this is a good one. Not too bad. Let's go. We'll take it. I'll keep going guys, let's hopefully hope for the best. Oh, Dustnor, so hopefully imagine we get a hit in every pack here. And these are the trainer galleries as well, so usually you wouldn't have a hit there, but because of the trainer gallery, we'll leave with at least something. Oh black and 
Green or kind Kindler? Can never pronounce that right. Kindler, Kindler. Let me know how you say that one. Not too bad. At least a full art. And then final one, white code. Nothing there. But guys, a 75 booster pack opening again. A big one. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys liked it. Not too bad. Obviously with the rainbows, including the shaman. So many pulls in the back. This is all our hits together. Like we pulled all that much from 75 packs. That's why I gotta love this set because you got so many hits you can get, uh, making it such a great set to open. Uh, so guys, if you're new here, make sure to like and subscribe. We've got loads of openings, 100 pack openings, a booster box opening, um, 150 pack openings, loads more. I'm gonna try and get 200 pack opening uh, eventually. So guys, like, subscribe, and see you next time. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.